Okay, so I think at some point we've all been there. We've traveled to a location and on the way there, we've imagined some of the photographs we might be able to achieve. But when we get there, we find the location we've chosen is really boring. So today, I wanna to share with you what I started to do if I find myself in a really boring location. But first, we need to find ourselves a really boring location. So this is the wonderful boring location that I have chosen to shoot today. As you can see, it isn't exactly picturesque. It isn't so that you put on a postcard and put, wish you were here. So if I'm presented with backdrops like this, I choose not to focus on wide shots or landscape shots or anything, but instead try and focus on the little details. And these little details, it could be absolutely anything. It could be a flower, it could be a blossoming tree, it could be a leaf, it could be a raindropper, it could be an insect absolutely anything really but i don't want to go all that way just to take a photograph of some bug why do i say bugs are weird bug so this is my idea next time you go to a location and you're not feeling really inspired and you're not satisfied with a lot of the shots have a look at what you have on you so we almost definitely will have a phone on us i have got my unboxing knife with me just for today i've also got a watch i've got my headphones and you may have jewelry rings anything like that and most of you guys watching this as well are probably photographers so do you have another camera with you or maybe another lens perhaps and these items could be things we could photograph in a location like this either together or separately all we need now is a place to shoot it so let's do a little bit of scouting and see what we can find so for my first photograph I'm going to be focusing on this old ruined barrel hopefully it's not like dangerous got bad chemicals in it or radiation I mean to be fair I could do it with an extra pair of hands so um yeah that was a really bad radiation joke, I'm sorry. I regret saying that. So for the first photograph, I'm just gonna put the watch itself on the barrel and I think that's giving some like industrial kind of vibes and I'm also liking the contrast between the subject itself and the background. So it's gonna be interesting to see what we can get right here. So when shooting photography like this, there are a couple of things you might wanna try and consider and that is the weather and the time you're shooting. So I've decided to shoot these photographs today edging towards the golden hours and in harsh daylight because I know the forest area will provide me with enough shade to take my photographs. But if I was shooting in a more open space, I'd definitely consider trying to use overcast weather as this will cast an even spread of ambient light across the entire scene so you won't get any harsh shadows introduced into your photographs. There is also the option of the golden hours which is just great all around to create some real nice light onto your subjects but there is also the option of maybe trying to use the blue hour to get some cool tones and I've tried this myself to get something a little bit different today. Just play around with all these variants and see what different results you can get. So for the second photograph I'm going to be focusing again on the watch but I'm going to try and incorporate other items. I was walking past this bench and I noticed the texture of it and it looked incredible so I thought I'd incorporate and try and do flat lay photography. So I'm going to put my A6400 about here, my knife maybe about here, a memory card here and then my wrist strap right about here. Now all we need to do is wait for the sun to go behind the clouds, take the photograph from above and hopefully we'll get a really cool result. People are going to be really confused if they just randomly see me standing on a bench but it makes sense. We know what's happening, that's what's important. Okay, so for my third photograph, I've got the Sony a6400 set up with the 50 f1.4 with this background right here. I'm going to shoot it with the 85mm lens so we get some real nice compression between our subject and the background. Technically, I've done this photograph before. I did it for my Sony a6400 review video, but it's a great example to show you if you have a different lens or camera. A setup like this would be ideal. Now having an 85mm lens isn't really essential. I'm going to be shooting around f4, maybe a little bit higher to get as much as the camera and lens in focus as possible. So something like a 24 to 30 would be perfect for this or any other lens really will do the trick. So before we end today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to 
edit one of these photographs and then we're going to have a quick look through the hashtag CP photos. So the first thing I'm going to do to this image is apply a preset and that should get us to this point right here. I also added a gradient mask tool and this goes from the bottom left corner all the way to the top right corner to give us some more warm tones. But I am going to turn down the highlights a little bit so we can see a little bit more detail in the knife right here. But then I'm going to use the brush tool and then add a little bit of exposure and highlights back in to the watch face itself. So that is really standing out and really grabs your attention in the center of the image. So with that done, there is a couple of things I want to change. So I'm going to throw this image into Photoshop and we're going to make some final adjustments. So now we've got the photograph in Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the clone stamp tool and I'm going to be moving this like white stuff right here, probably like bird gack or something like that. I'm going to get the brush size just around about the same size so it makes it easier to remove. Select it about here and there we go, just a few clicks and that is gone, looks like it was never there, perfect. So the other thing I want to change is the strap right here. I think I did a kind of bod job of the strap, I basically didn't use one of those proper things, I basically used like an, a nail and a hammer. So it, it was a little bit butchered but it got the job done and now it fits my wrist. So I'm going to change the clone tool again, make it a little bit smaller and then just fill that in and make a few adjustments to it right here. Okay, so with that all sorted, we can throw this image back into Lightroom and I think that's going to actually complete the editing for this particular photograph. And uh, this is the before and that is the after. Some minor tweaks, nothing major, but it's sometimes those little tweaks that make all the difference to the final photograph. So before we end today's video, let's have a little look for the hashtag CP photos and our first photograph that caught my eye today is, wow, this one right here. Affinity 76, this drone shot is something else. That is a fantastic shot, I love that. So our next photograph today is by, oh I like this one, Click It Photo. I really like this photograph, I love doing this myself, playing around with all like a fish tank and everything like that. And this is just an incredible example of that. Great work, Click It. Thank you for using the hashtag. I like this one right here. This one by Janos. This is incredible. I love the composition. I love the symmetry of the shot. And you've got the plane right there. That's a fantastic photograph. Let's keep scrolling. And oh, this one's catching my eye a lot. I love that photograph of this jag with the lights and everything. Wow. And this was taken by Scumple Pig. Hull Marina. What is like Hull? That was taken in the hull. That's incredible if that's taken in the hull. I just love that shot. It's so cool. Positioned it perfectly. Awesome lights. Great photograph. That is just wow. Oh, I like this one. I love the vibrant colours and the snow. Such a contrast in colours, but a really simple composition as well, which I, I always love. Sarah, this is an absolutely fantastic photograph. And that's the last photograph I'm going to look at today using the hashtag CPPhotos. I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's continuing to use it. If you're not, jump on it. Your work might be featured at the end of one of my videos. It's the hashtag CPPhotos and you will also be able to meet a lot of the awesome content creators and the awesome community that are using and creating content themselves. So interact with everyone. It's a great place to be. It's a great place to share your work and meet other creatives alike. That's where I'm gonna be leaving today's video, everyone. If you liked it, you know what to do. Caress the like button, gently press the subscribe button, and make sure you comment some words below. But until next time, everyone, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Bye.